Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't seen my face before, my name is Jam, and I hope you subscribe to join all the fun. So today's video is probably one of the most asked questions. How did I lose my arm fat? What exercises worked for me? What's my diet? I often get a lot of messages on Instagram asking what can I recommend to lose belly fat or arm fat, yada yada yada. But before we get into that, I uploaded a video about my fitness quarantine fitness transformation so if you haven't seen that you might want to check that out just click the card on your screen I have to put a disclaimer because I am no expert. I am not a professional. I can only share my personal knowledge based on research and I can only share my personal experience and how I figured out what worked for myself. Before we start, if you haven't seen my previous videos before, I'm just gonna give you a little bit of a background just so you know where I'm coming from. So yeah, I started my journey with Glow Eating's two weeks shred challenge and three weeks lean arms challenge and I did not work out for three years prior to that so I was a complete beginner I didn't know what I was doing I didn't have a specific goal that time I just wanted to feel a little bit better I mean I just wanted to start moving to feel better mentally and feel a little bit stronger and see where that takes me so that was my starting point now how did I get from this this like what I said fitness journey is a lot of trial and error and I know everyone is different so I needed to figure out what's gonna work for myself so the first thing I did number one set a goal so after doing those challenges I felt the difference more so in the inside than outside I felt stronger I felt empowered I felt more confident then I realized that when I keep doing it because I enjoyed so much and I fell in love with working out it's like the most amazing thing so I set a goal for myself so okay I wanted to reduce more of my arm fats because for me that's where I probably store most of my fats and I wanted to look leaner and get stronger Number two is research. I have seen a lot of videos from different sources and read tons and tons of articles. Read, 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 basically. I wanted to educate myself because I wanted this journey to be efficient, effective, and sustainable at the same time. I have seen tons of videos about how to get rid of your arm fats, flubby arms, bingo wings, whatever we want to call it. And majority of them neglected to say that we can't spot reduce fats. Unfortunately, we can't choose where we lose fat. It doesn't work like that. If you want to lose arm fats or belly fats, we have to reduce the overall fat composition in our body. And that's where number three comes in. Number three, I learned that I had to be on a calorie deficit. Because no matter how many crunches I do, no, no matter how many push-ups I do, fat is not just gonna magically disappear in that specific area. Yes, I'll get stronger, I'll be developing abs or strengthening my core under that layer of fat, but if I'm not eating at a caloric deficit or not losing overall fat, then I wouldn't see physical changes. So with that being said, knowing your calorie needs per day is very helpful and by knowing that you can now play around with your macros like how many percent of carbs protein and fats should you consume per day depending on your goal i know it can be overwhelming at first but trust me you'll get the hang of it and knowing your calorie maintenance is super beneficial especially if you have goals but if that's too much for you and you just want to lose weight then just know your calorie maintenance and work from there by the way a link on how to calculate your calorie maintenance is on the description box so there is no magic food guys if you want to lose weight just be in a caloric deficit period so if someone tells you that eating oatmeal or drinking green tea help them lose weight it's not because of the food they're eating or consuming but it's the amount of food they're consuming for example if my calorie maintenance is 1500 and, and I'm eating oatmeal with 1,800 calories throughout the day that I'm gonna gain weight compared to 
when I'm eating oatmeal and consume 1,300 calories throughout the day and I'm gonna lose weight. So that's just an example guys, but I hope that makes sense. Number four is workout. Diet and working out go hand in hand. And by diet, I don't mean a specific diet. I'm talking about eating healthier in general. If you wanna lose weight, without exercise then just be on a caloric deficit but don't expect that you will have lean arms or defined abs without exercise it it's just it's not gonna happen for me i wanted to gain muscles look leaner and get stronger and i realized that cardio and heat high intensity interval training weren't enough to achieve that while cardio and heat are beneficial for fat loss if i wanted to have that leaner look or a muscular look then i need to incorporate weight lifting so that's what i'm currently doing i am currently on a resistance training and i love weight lifting you guys while we can't necessarily choose where our body loses fat we can choose where we can look leaner and defined by doing targeted toning exercises like the videos we see all over YouTube like three weeks lean arms, toned arms in two weeks, etc. Take note that muscles are more metabolically active than fat so the more muscles we have, the more calories we burn throughout the day just by simply doing nothing. So if you're asking me how did I achieve my, you know, leaner, leaner arms, that's what I did. The combination of everything, diet, workout, consistency. But if you're only asking like how to lose weight, then just simply be on a calorie deficit. So yeah, and speaking of workout, I'm gonna show you guys my favorite arms slash upper body workout. So yeah, that's all I wanted to share in this video. I hope this video was informative. I am becoming more and more passionate about health and fitness and the science behind it. I find it so fascinating. Like there is so much to learn. I wanna keep learning and improving. You know, I could have done a video like do this 10 minutes arms exercises and you're gonna see results in two weeks, but that's not how it works. I want to give you guys as much reliable information as I can. So I hope I did not sound like I'm trying to be an expert because I am not. That's not my intention at all. Again, I am not an expert and I am not certified to tell you what to do. At least for now. <laughs> but yeah, what I want you to take away from this video is that educate yourself, figure out what's going to work for you. Because like what I always say, everyone is different. Nutrition should be individualized and for the work to be effective and the results to be sustainable you should do you have to do what makes you feel good you do what you enjoy the most so yeah if you want to see more videos like this give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much for your time and i'll see you guys next time bye